Welcome to Black Man Rankings, where we explore relationships, hot topics, and life philosophies. Here at BMR, the men love the women and the women love the men, but we are going to always keep it real. Please hit the like button and thanks for watching. What up, what up, what up? This is Mike the Philosopher here with another one. This one is Divorce Court, okay? Something about some side chicks. I haven't seen this before. I'm going to watch it with you. Let's go in. In love and relationships, we often play different roles on the stage of life. On today's case, Ms. Jackson says she's played her role in her partner, Mr. Sheriff's life for almost a decade. But now that she's the leading lady in their love story, she's thinking she might need to be recast. She says he's a narcissist who drinks too much, and now she's having serious doubts about their future. Will he trade in his shots of vodka for a shot at love? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Jackson versus Sheriff. Thank you very much, Ms. Jackson and Mr. Sheriff. Ms. Jackson, you are here because Mr. Sheriff's lifestyle no. Okay, y'all, look, listen. <laughs> First of all, she is super tall. The hair. I don't know what I, I don't I don't know what's up with a lot of sisters now going blind. I really don't. Y'all watch <laughs> Ready to Love. Rashina was on that real heavy. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't think it makes you look any better. Um, it all, all it does is kind of scream that I'm in competition with Becky. That's all it that all that's all it that's all it says to me is I'm in direct competition with Becky. Okay, again, I have not seen this before. I don't know what's gonna happen. 33 year old. Um and another thing that's going on is the what they call that, the septic ring uh in the nose. Okay, look, la ladies, this is this is not me. This is this is a thing that's going on in society. I'm here to I'm here to spread the word, teach, you know, things like that. There is a group of men who think women with septic rings are the ones who are narcissistic. They're feminists. They are uh un uncooperative they're disagreeable okay it's almost a tag saying that they have a more of a you know disagreeable mindset so watch out for that ladies um and i know a lot of y'all probably saying don't i don't care i don't this that and the third i'm gonna wear whatever i want okay okay it's almost like a man wearing lipstick what are you going to say to yourself oh this dude got lipstick on well he could say oh well, i don't care i'm gonna wear what i want to wear i'll wear lipstick if i want to you still gonna have an opinion <laughs> okay you still gonna have your opinion about them so wear it if you want to but you're gonna you're gonna have somebody prejudging you if you're comfortable with people prejudging you fine but that that septic ring in the nose it's a dead giveaway to a lot of guys i'm just saying let's go let's go in and see what's going on no longer suits you you want to see real change and commitment or you say the relationship is over yes your honor and mr sheriff you say you want to save the relationship but that miss jackson is pushing you away you say you are set in your ways and she needs to give it the program yes your honor so let me see, you all have been in each other's life for a very long time, but you are not married together for 10 years off and on, no kids together, although there are some children from previous relationships, but you've been living in the same house for the last year. Why are we in court today, Ms. Jackson? Your Honor, we're in court today because I have been Anthony's side chick for the past 10 years. Mm. What? Yes, the past 10 years. Um, I'm in my 30s now. I want children, I want to be married, 
but there are some things that we got to work through. He's an alcoholic and I don't know what to do. I, I think he still might be talking to other women. And I just want to make sure that since I'm his number one now, that we're working towards what I want, which is marriage and children. Well, I have just heard for the first time somebody identify themselves as having been a 10 year side chick, but guess what? She retired now. That's what she wants everybody to know. What do you say, Mr. Sheriff? Knowing her for the last 10 years, she's been a great friend and we've had some wonderful times. And now there's, you can say I'm at that place and point, I'm willing to settle down as well. Um, she made mention of my drinking and I do like drinking. I had me a little shots here and there. Let's dig a little deeper. Take me back to when you all met because you said you've been his quote side chick for 10 years. That's an awful long time. Yes, Your Honor. Um, we met 10 years ago. I used to work at a check hashing place. Mm -hmm. And so one of the services we offered were copies. And he came into my job and he had a lot of paperwork that he needed to be copied. And I did not charge him for the copies. So that's how we started up a conversation. Oh, you hooked him up. I did hook him up. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Really sweet guy. He actually gave me his phone number that day. He told me to call him that night when I got off and I did call did him. Did you know that he was involved in a relationship with other people? Yes, he was very upfront with that. Um, I called him that night. I was at his house that night and we had a conversation and he was very honest with me. And said that he was involved in a... Yeah, he was involved with other chicks. He was a side chick. She was a side chick. She knew she was the side chick. But... <laughs> Here, here is my problem. Why would you be a side chick for 10 years to an alcoholic? Okay. Now, I know he got his problems. But. A part of me feels like she kind of put herself in this situation. I mean, let's just be real. She kind of put herself in this situation. Now, I know a lot of ladies out there saying, I wouldn't be no side chick for no 10 years. Well, if you really love that person, if you really love that person, no, nah, I don't care. I love it. I, I, I get it. I get it. But if you, if you say you don't agree with her being a side chick for 10 years, then you have to say to yourself, she put herself in this situation. She put herself in this situation. All he did was roll with the punches. Okay. And here's a here's a lesson for the guys out there. Be honest. Be honest. Don't lie and stuff like that. He told her everything up front. Let her make the decision. And she made the decision to stay with him. Okay. Don't lie to kick it. Just be honest. And. Sometimes you win some. Sometimes you lose some. But. Even if you lose. It's like whatever. Um, if you can't roll with it. You can't roll with it. I just find somebody who can. You know what I mean. So. Let's go in another relationship he told me that he was just recently divorced oh i see but he was already currently in another relationship with another young lady okay so just getting out of one relationship getting into another relationship and still trying to shoot his shot at you <laughs> yes your honor okay mr sheriff come home now well um with that being said i ain't never cheated on her i cheated on him you know, <laughs> I had my thing going on. I was a young man 10 years ago. I was a very young man and I was living my life and I was not an alcoholic back then. But after two divorces, who wouldn't want to pick up a bottle and take a shot? In the time that you have known Miss Jackson, you have been married twice. Yes, ma'am. Busy man. You know, we did start seeing each other. Um, there was no commitment. Um, he did have another woman, but he never let us cross paths. I never saw That's her. That's what folk do when they cheating. You don't <laughs> let the side chick come up with the wife? What in the ham sandwich? Oh my but God. Y'all, because... you never seen Goodfellas? <laughs> the side chick go out on Friday, the wife go out on, on Saturday. Your they honor. Don't go to, they can even go to the same place. They just don't go at the same time. 
I was with him every day. So I was. Let me say though, still, she is cute. She is cute. Love her smile. Love her. I guess she got a glow. She's pretty tall, pretty thick. Um, but I, I, I just don't see it necessary to have the septic ring in a in a scepter ring or whatever in the nose. I don't find it necessary to have the eyelashes. I don't find it necessary to have blonde hair. She could be just as pretty, even more pretty, if she was a little more natural. I'm just saying that, but let's go in. I was with him too much to not see another woman. So I thought that it was just like, you know, a transition. He just got out of a divorce. This was another young lady he was with. Um, and it wasn't serious. Um, and then I left, I went out of state to go to college. And when I would visit home, I would come and like see my parents and I would see him as well. We still- And Mr. Sheriff, what was going on with you while she went off to go to college? What were you doing? Um, I decided to go ahead and marry the other young lady, the second young lady. And- So you got out of that marriage, the first marriage, yes, finished that off. And then you married the woman that you were involved with when you first met Miss Jackson. Yes, Your Honor. And when Miss Jackson would come back into town, y'all would do y'all. Yes, Your Honor. I appreciate your honesty. Miss Jackson, and you knew that he had gotten married. Yes, Your Honor. Um, but during that three years I was in college, he had gotten married and then divorced before I even came back. Clearly, the second woman was not the woman for you either. No, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Jackson. Yes, Your Honor. I'm listening to your timeline. It says to me that you replaced all the other women that he was not letting you encounter. <sighs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You know them ones that you never saw? Yes. Be careful what you wish for. How, <laughs> how you get them. It's how you lose them. I know that's what the judge is going to say. I just wanted to see 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 her uh you know, yeah, she 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 got a beautiful smile here, okay? Beautiful smile, nice chick. And I will have to say so far she's not living up to the septic ring philosophy. So for all of those who saying not everybody okay okay she may be an exception because she's not moving like that um so you know shout out to her um let's hear some more how you get them is how you lose them yes your honor um but now being in that position where i am number one i can see flags that i didn't have that viewpoint okay mr jackson real talk you're not number one. You never have been. He's number one. He's always made that choice. I mean, it, it still doesn't change the fact that he is unappreciative. Now that I am his woman, yes, you know, I've made changes toward him as my man. I would think he would do the same thing. And that's not even like the the big deal about everything. Like What's the, the money, big deal? The big deal is the, the alcoholism, the drinking. Like that's the big deal with it. Father's Day, he decided to occupy his time and find something to do, and he filled it with a liquor bottle. He's already like pissy drunk. Mm -hmm. Your Honor. Like pissy drunk. By defense, I called her, I explained to her that I was about to have something to drink, hung out with a couple of my buddies, we got a bottle, and we was having some jokes, cracking jokes. I was planning on spending time with her, so we can probably make another baby. She didn't, because we could have had this day next year for us. But you know, it is what it is. I don't know what it is, uh, it, maybe it's just a coincidence, but it's a lot of brothers uh, throwing the bottles up, all right? Uh, bottle Boys is in the building. I don't know what's... Shout out to LeBron. <laughs> um, but I don't know what's going on here because it's a lot of brothers drinking. Like, what's going on? Even another divorce court I did, brother was drinking too much. It's like... We gotta get up. Hennessy had, uh, I think my man Dom said this, Dominique from Ready to Love. He said, Hennessy has tore down the black community. All right. And I am seeing way too many examples of this being a fact. 
uh yeah we just got to get over this whole drinking too much y'all if and and it ain't even just drinking too it's it's smoking too we just got too many vices as a community we got to get rid of all these vices i'm not saying i don't have no vice i i, I really don't but i'm sure there's something i could cut back on but the pro the, the point is we got too many vices as a community we need to you know they put them liquor stores in our our neighborhoods for a reason y'all i'm just saying don't buy into it let's go in how has the drinking manifested itself in your relationship well it's it's popping up all the time now um one time which was actually this mother's day um, he came over with me to my family's house we had a mother's day brunch and he was over there I asked him not to drink because I know that he cannot control himself. He can't control how much he drinks. You so. all had an actual conversation about this before you went? Yes. You did, Was that Your correct, Honor, Mr. We, we, we did have a couple of conversations about it, but I hate Two a person that say that I can't drink and they drinking too. But does now, she have a drinking problem? No, she don't have a drinking problem. And there was no problem on Mother's Day. I had a couple of shots <gasps> and that was the bottom line. We sat there, we, we danced together, then we went home. Now you're telling no me problem. there was no problem. I'm gonna ask Ms. Jackson. There was a problem. The problem was that since we had conversations, he said a couple, so there was at least two, about not having any alcohol. And then I find out he's like over in the corner sneaking liquor, like sneaking shots. I could hear him from two rooms over because he gets that loud. It wasn't even no two rooms over. We I don't know if the... <laughs> I don't know if the camera angle is is funny, but damn, she like so much taller. She almost a foot taller than this brother looked like. I know she probably got heels on or whatever, but I am searching for a reason why she is so into this guy. I'm really, I, I really am. I think, honestly, I think she could do so much better. And I, I'm not taking a shot at him. He just like, it's just like, I, I don't know. It's he, so far he don't seem to be, he seemed like he's a nice guy. That's probably how he got her. But him drinking so much, him being married twice, him being a little shorter than her. I'm going to have to say that so far, she is an exceptional woman. For real. So far, she's coming off e exceptional. If she's willing to be with a guy like this and through his trials and tribulations, even call herself the side chick, y'all she really cares for this guy she, and, and, and and she is coming off as an exceptional woman i'm wondering what's kind of going on with her and i'm not saying anything is wrong with her for being a good woman and exceptional woman but she, she she doesn't seem to have slid into the modern woman mindset so which is which is rare so she's looking a little bit like a unicorn to me right now for real um let's hear some more we was only two rooms room. over we was only he's one wild room. he's all over the place so then when i finally see him and i find out oh like oh you've been drinking i can smell it like so, instantly so what was it when you said to me this is your exact words my my own family can see that you're not having this drinking problem and you've calmed down a lot and we was all in the living room chilling, listening to music. When, and I when did I say sing. that though? Was so that we was all having a after? celebration. Here's, here's the deal. If in fact you both acknowledge that when you drink to excess, it can be over the top and everybody agreed that you were not going to have alcohol at this celebration, help me to understand what made you change your mind. That's what I wanted to do. There it is. And Mr. Sheriff, I appreciate your honesty. Ms. Your Jackson, honor. you heard what he said. Yes, I did. That's not even the only time. That was Mother's Day, then we have Father's Day. So Father's Day, I was actually gone most of the day. 
Mm-hmm. And so... And we were supposed to be kicking it. We were supposed to meet up. Yeah, I ended up babe. staying longer than what we previously discussed. So he decided to occupy his time and find something to do, and he filled it with a liquor bottle. He's already like pissy drunk. Mm-hmm. Your Honor. Like pissy drunk. In my defense, I called her, I explained to her that I was about to have something to drink. Hung out with a couple of my buddies, we got a bottle, and we was having some jokes, cracking jokes. I wanted to talk to my kids. They didn't even call for Father's Day, so that frustrated me. I was planning on spending time with her, so we can probably make another baby. And um, she Boy. didn't know where to be found, because we could have had this day next year for us. But you know, it is what it is. You decide to drink that much, come to our house, stumbling, slurring, stanking. He admits that he drank too much. Your Honor, I had to push him out of the door. He couldn't stay there. Mr. Sheriff, is that the level of your drinking till you get to the point where you are no, so no, inebriated? I, I, it was, I was not that excessively drunk. Okay, just because you only can drink a, a little bitty glass of wine and I want to drink me a pint of Hennessy, that's what I drink. And it's smooth. And I, it relaxes me. I get to chill. Mr. Sheriff. Pint of Hennessy. Shout out to Dom. Boy, oh boy. Didn't I just, didn't I just mention the Hennessy? Tearing the community down. Uh, gotta get out of these vices not even just black people just human beings we gotta get out of these vices ain't nothing wrong with it but it gotta be controlled you know what I mean gotta be controlled you can't any habit any habit that is causing an issue with your life is not a habit worth having it's just not. And alcohol is probably among the top of that list as far as bad habits. Let's go in. Sheriff, what are you um, medicating? Because to drink to excess on a regular basis usually suggests that there's something that's wrong. You brought your sister here today. Yes, my sister is here. Do you think they belong together for the long term? <laughs> It's fun when you're young, so it was all fun and games to her. But she's honestly really, I tell her all the time, blocking her husband. What's up with you? Sometimes, like you said, you don't like to be alone, and that does bother me. If you just noticed, I said I drank on Father's Day for the simple fact that kids didn't call, kids wasn't around, Randy was supposed to hang out with me, and she wasn't around. So, so I, that, it's, it's, that void, I beg that, your pardon, excuse me. It seems that when you are by yourself, you have to fill that time and space with either people or some other addiction. Yes, Your Honor. What is that about, sir? A whole lot. Some of it's way too much to explain even now. If you really are interested in making some changes in your life, you one going to have to acknowledge that you drink to excess, which means, say the words, I'm an alcoholic. Yes, ma'am. And then... That is true. Um, let's, let's hear a little bit more and determine whether or not you want to make some changes. So, sir, are we going to get a handle on this drinking problem? Are you interested in getting a handle on this drinking problem? Yes, Your Honor. I really am. You interested in that? And that's, that's, that's key right there, that he want to get some help with this drinking problem. The brother's only 36. He got gray hairs already. I didn't have him until a lot later. But here's the thing, though. And this is what I want to talk about. This brother feels like a failure in life. This is probably why he's drinking so much. He has two divorces, failed at both marriages. His kids won't call him on Father's Day. I don't know what his career situation is like. But my guess is he's feeling like a fa- uh, a failure, okay, in life. He just so happened to luck up to have a woman like uh, Randy, okay. Uh, sorry, Miss Jackson, okay, but uh, but this guy here is probably not the one for you i know they're going to bring her sister on and her sister is probably going to preach to her to drop this guy and uh so far so far i would probably agree i think that she should get another guy I, but who knows how that's going to affect him maybe he'll spiral 
into alcohol even more. But if he's willing to get the help, like he said, he's willing to do. Then maybe they can work things out. I will say this. If he's willing to get help with alcohol. They should stay together forever. If he's not willing to, to help himself. She should move on. Okay. She's she wants a family. She wants kids. She's what? 33. She's approaching that geriatric pregnancy. She ain't got no time to waste. If she want kids, she got to have them now. I'm not sure why she don't have them now already anyway. Maybe something else is going on with her. I can't imagine them being together for 10 years and her not, he not slipping one past the goalie. That don't really make sense to me. But... You know, it, it, I'll put it this way. She is approaching that dangerous time to have kids. So she don't have no more time to waste. Not only do he got to be on board with getting um, help with his alcohol. But he has to be on board with marrying her and having kids like now. Okay. He has to be all the way on her program. If he's not all the way on her program, because he did his thing. He had his kids. He had his marriage. But maybe a part of him is probably, you know, scared to marry again because he has two failures already. So he's probably not ready to jump into another marriage or have any more kids who ain't going to appreciate him. You know what I mean? Oftentimes, too, that's a part of the, 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 the mothers. Because the mothers should be reminding the kids when it's Father's Day. A lot of times, kids don't pay attention to that. Only time I don't, they don't have an excuse if they're adult kids. But if they're kid kids, they don't be knowing what day is Mother's Day and Father's Day. A father would remind the kids that, hey, Mother's Day is coming up. A mother won't remind her kids Father's Day is coming up. They don't care about Father's Day. As a matter of fact, a lot of women will steal Father's Day <laughs> and say, I'm the father and the mama. But that's another story. My point is, his brother's feeling like a failure, but he got to get his act together and he got to get it together today. And if he don't get it together today, I do not blame her a bit for leaving this dude. Let's go back in. Actually delving into why you drink so much? Yes. Um, because I- I explained to Randy a lot in regards to why I drink. Randy knows a lot of history about me throughout the 10 years. Your honor. And so when I'm expressing to her um, where the pain comes from, because you mentioned that there is pain, and there is a lot of pain. And so I'm very open and transparent with her um, to no end. If I'm dealing with something, she's been my confidant all these years, I just tell her. And then her rebuttal or her snapback or her coming down on me, it just makes me just want to drink more. And that's the honest to God's truth because you're yelling at me and it's like, okay, all I did was have a shot. Now you're yelling at me so much, now I just want the rest of the bottle. No, it's not just a shot, it's a bottle. No, Mr. Ms. Jackson, I hear Mr. Sheriff. Mr. Sheriff has a drinking problem, there is no question. This court can point you in the direction of some addiction specialists if you are interested and you, you want to make a change, but I'm not interested in doing that for somebody who doesn't want to make the change. I am willing. And you need to repair whatever it is in yourself so that you can be the man that does not need to self-medicate. I'm giving you this, regardless of what happens here, that's absolutely necessary. Day one, step one, today on this. Ms. Jackson, I understand you brought your sister here today. Yes, my sister is here. She couldn't be here in person, but she wanted to join us uh, virtually. Hi, Ms. Jackson, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Will you do me a favor and state your name or relationship to the plaintiff? Savon Jackson, I'm the older sister of Randy. And Ms. Jackson, your sister 
has been talking to the defendant for 10 years in a relationship. What was your first impression since you've been around, you're the older sister, back in the day? Um, well, my first impression, I really didn't think anything of it. I just thought they were, you know, hanging out, hanging out, dating. He was cool, so she was happy, so I was happy. Did you know she was the side chick? I found out that she was, and I was like, really, that's what you want to do? And she like, you know, she young, so it didn't really bother her. And to us, you couldn't tell. I, I wouldn't even know if she didn't tell me. He was always around. He's still always around. <laughs> I see. And Mr. Sheriff testified that your family loves being around him and y'all have a good time. Do you all like him? Yeah, we like him. Like, he is a good time. Do you think they belong together for the long term? <laughs> it's fun when you're young. You know, like, like my sister said, she was in her early 20s when she met him. So it was all fun and games to her. But she's honestly really, I tell her all the time, blocking her husband. And she deserves better than that. Well, Ms. Jackson, I appreciate your insight. Thank you very much. Big sisters often know what's going on on the real deal. Ms. Um, Jackson here um, in the courtroom, did you hear what your sister said? Yes, Your Honor. I'm assuming she said this to you before. She might have mentioned it. Yes, she did. Mr. Sheriff, did you hear what Ms. Jackson said? I heard said? exactly what she said. And um, from when I go around, it is not like that at all. I'm like, husband material, period. That's, what that's they the see is. and what I see is always going to be different. So they don't know you have the DUIs. They don't know what happened this weekend when you got drunk at work and I had to follow you home to make sure you were safe. They don't know all of that. Yes, you're fun. Like, I love you. Love you. All the good times that we have together. I want to be with you. But there's there's just things you got to you got to work on. And I'm not going to wait until you, oh, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Like, you can only work on it for so long. You know I'll leave. Well, you probably don't think I'll leave because I've been around in and out for 10 Actually, years, but I will leave. I can tell you right now, until you walk out the door for real, he doesn't know you'll leave. Yeah, he doesn't know you'll leave uh, because you never left him before. Um, but I believe her. I believe she'll leave um, because right now the priority is getting her kids and getting married and she's not getting no younger and her sister is going to stay in her ear and remind her, girl, you blocking your husband. That's all she's going to tell her. And he's going to be drunk one night. And everything her sister said to her is going to make all the sense in the world. She didn't get it until now. So, I, and like I said, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with her because she, for the most part, was sticking with him through through the bad times like she said the duis and things like that um she 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 stuck with him through the divorces that he had maybe the kids that he had so she she's been there for him so uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest i wouldn't really uh, I, I i i put it this way from what she's done I, I admire her and she's she's a special woman for that but I wouldn't uh, ask her to put up with any more of this I really wouldn't you know what I mean if she she don't she don't got time to keep doing this with him and and for what like he he said he's ready to change but How many of y'all think that he's really going to turn it around and do a 180 in a short amount of time? Probably not. He's, he, he's probably stuck in his habits at this point. It will probably be best to just move on, if I'm being honest. 
it will probably be best to just move on i don't think she has any more time to waste and i think she's done all of the you know down chick and and ride or die that um, can be expected of her at this point let's go back in Mr. Sheriff knows that you are a comfortable pillow that he can squish and put his arms around and work. He knows that because that's who you've been for 10 years. Mr. Sheriff has some work to do on himself. We already discussed that. He does, and I am 100% following up with you to help you get on the path to Alcoholics Anonymous, if you will. It's time for you to put your health on your front burner. That's what you need to do so you can get yourself together. But you, Ms. Jackson, you need to decide if you're worth being more than the side chick. Your Honor, she's not the side chick any longer. She's my woman, and so, like I explained, I expressed She's the her. side chick to the alcohol. She's the side chick to what you're trying to do. She's still the side chick to number one, because number one has always been you, Mr. Sheriff. Let's live in the truth. You always are doing what works for Mr. Sheriff, because you'll know she's always going to be there. Here's my question, if you weren't there, what do you think would happen? To be honest, Your Honor, mm -hmm. I actually think he'll be fine if I wasn't there. Just the like I'd be fine. Why, I'm just gonna go find another woman. Didn't we just discuss that? Yeah, it's, it's exactly what I would go do. That's he why every time she has left, every time she has rejected me, I just find a, re a re whole new direction. He fills in the blanks. I, yeah, as I go. That was the wrong answer, bruh. For real, I just go find another woman. Now, I don't know if he's doing that to spark a little fear in her so that, you know, there's something in in the in industry, the stock, stock market, it's called FOMO. And that's fear of missing out. F-O-M-O. -O. Okay, that's a real thing. People, people invest in stocks because they have a fear of missing out. If Amazon come out with a stock, people will rush into Amazon stock with the fear of missing out. Everybody wants to get into something good. They want to put money into good stuff. They want to put time into good stuff for the fear of missing out. I don't want to miss this big opportunity. And it sounds like he's kind of creating a little bit of FOMO. Okay. And and that is okay if she leaves i'll just find somebody else i'll fill in the blanks and he probably will do that be true to his word but it might make her feel like you know because she she seems like a problem solver to me okay she seems like that type of woman who's a problem solver and um and some and, and i'll be honest a lot of the times the roles are reversed the man is the problem solver he wants to pay women rent and pay her bills and 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 take care of her and this that and the third and make sure she's good and and she's and she could be reckless and she could spend all her money on this that and the third and she'll say i'll go find another man at this that and the third a lot of times the roles are reverse. So she need to lead us to Let's go back in. So I and I make sure those blanks handle their responsibilities as my woman. Right, but if you can just fill me in, I don't need to be there. When people tell you who they are, I believe them the first time. This is the man that you've been involved with for 10 years. I don't know if that works for you. I don't. I really don't understand if that works for you, but I'm not sensing that we're looking at marriage right now. And you in your 30s and you've decided this is the time you want to be somebody's number one. You should never be somebody's number two. Yeah, and, and that's where I'm at with it is that if he can fill me in, 
then I'm done. And that's Cause it. I'm gonna tell you right now, Mr. Sheriff is gonna work on himself cause he's need to get that drinking under control. And that's not on you. That's on him. He's got to get that under control. But yeah. you may be blocking your blessings on the person that you should be with. Because if you're not careful, Mr. Sheriff will fill you in the next time and it'll be another wife. And if you don't get that drinking, you'll end up in the front of the church in a coffin. Yeah. And you will be in the back of the church with the girlfriends. Yeah. I'm done. Filling me in. You can fill me in. Well, Somebody time. else. Move. No, nah, what you mean? What you mean? What I mean? You just said you could fill me in. No, if I wasn't that, here, you go find another woman. No, I'm just saying, if you're telling me you're going to leave me, then what? what I I never said I was going to leave you until you said all that stuff early. No, but OK, if you so tell you me don't you want me here, you, I don't I can't uh, leave somebody who don't want me. Well, Robert, sometimes shining mm. a light can hit you like a ton of bricks. Perfect example of you knew who Jimmy was when you met Jimmy. Absolutely, and sometimes when you put that mirror up to your own face, mm -hmm. you see that you got a crooked eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new saying now, ladies? Mirror up to the face, you got a crooked eyelash? I don't know, Judge. You might, you might have one yourself. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. I'm glad she responded that way. I, I I was getting to the point where I was like, I think she's too good for this dude. Uh, she seems like a a, a, a a pretty good woman, holding him down during all of his, you know, stuff. So, you know, she's better off without him. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Was I too hard on him? Was I too nice to her? Whatever. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Um, I think maybe he's doing a little bit of manipulation, to be honest. I think at this point, she's. I, I'm, I must just say it. I'm going to come out and say it. She's too good for him. Okay. I'ma just come out and say she's just too good for him. Mm -hmm.